This is an emergency, I beg an urgent This is a serious case So, so start over and tell me exactly what, what just happened. Okay, so I was going to call you on my iPhone. I decided to call you on my laptop using this app I can record, right? Mm -hmm. As soon as I put the number in, as soon as I put that last seven, mm -hmm. I, thought, I, I thought Shadow. Then I had to look at it. I thought Shadow was going to be like, oh my God, this was a bird. Pull up to the window, then you see feathers, and you see the. I, I'm assuming it was black, it was a shadow. All right. So now let me tell you. So again, right before I start my readings, I always take me a quick little nap, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, just some because I want to get the day off of me. Now, yep. during this time, I didn't I couldn't go to sleep. So my eyes was just like flickering because it's been doing that lately. But Here's the thing, I'm driving in a car, there's this little baby, little brown chocolate beautiful little baby, and the baby has on blue, so it must be a boy, and it's talking, but no words are coming out of his mouth, okay? So I go down, I'm going down this community where there's a lot of construction machines, big building, I mean big construction equipment, but it's in somebody's neighborhood. So I get out of the car. And I leave the baby in the car. It sounded like the baby wasn't supposed to go with me. The baby is trying to tell me something. Like, but the baby was sitting up there looking me dead in the face like it's a warning. They were telling me, the baby was saying something destructive is coming. And I thought it was going to be a car accident. And I said I need to tell my client to watch out for a car accident when she called. Because my eyes were just flickering. And I know I wasn't asleep because I for 15 minutes this went on. My, I feel my eyes fluttering. While I'm laying across the bed. Now, get this. I get out the car, leave the baby and everything, and I start walking up the road. As I walk up the road, to my left, there's a white house, a big yellow, like, gas tanker. It just takes off and it rolls downhill in the back of the yard. Crash. Boom. Pow. It then burn. It just crashing. Weird sound come from it. Uh -huh. Then to my right. That machine started like acting up and the ground opened up and swallowed that machine. So I started running directly up the road. Keep in mind it's nighttime, it's dark. Then I go, as I'm running up the road, the ground split and destruction. Coom, 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 it opens up. So I turn around and I say, I need to make it back to this car, you know, before, you know, so I can get in this car and drive. So I make it back to, I try to make it back to the car. As I'm making it back to the car, it's like the world is ending around me, and it this and every the road is breaking up, everything turning black. It's almost pitch black nighttime, and so I say fuck this. So after after the machine drop and the car drop in the hole, the ground give away the road. I jump and I begin flying. I say I say damn. I say I told myself I say dude, you have an ability. You can fly, and I say yeah, you're right. <laughs> I say yeah, I can fly. So I jump, I jump up in the air and I'm flying almost like Neo from the Matrix. And as I'm flying, I'm seeing all the destruction that's happening around. And I go to turn right, you know, because I was flying this way and I'm going super speed. As I go to turn right to turn down another long road from the way we was coming, it was nothing but a long barren road and trees and shit. But it's pitch black, but there's no destruction there. That's when I realized I needed to warn you prior. There's destruction coming around you. And spirit tapped into your ass so good that I had to warn you because I couldn't take my nap and my eyes is fluttering and I'm literally like cuz that's when I that's when I know I'm getting vision. It almost like I'm having a seizure. But it's like brrr, my eyes are just fluttering like this, and I'm seeing shit so clearly. But I see it like a like if you was to see looking through different bubbles. 
you know what I'm saying, each stage of that particular issue. But in my heart, in my mind, I felt that I needed to, Spirit said, warn your customer who is calling you and tell her to be careful of car accidents. And this bird just flew there. And I don't see a lot of movies where birds get crazy and they lose their balance and they fly into walls and kill themselves or windows. I'm talking about it, it was a loud, uh, when I say it was a loud bird, and as I'm talking to you, the, the guts that are on the window are like falling off. Like, it's really, it's crazy. Like, well, I was looking at it like, what doesn't happen? What color it was this bird? It was a shadow. It, it, I would say it was black. I thought it was dark. Because, you know, I almost, I felt the presence before I actually yeah. heard the noise. So, when I, when I felt, okay. remember, I'm putting that last dish in. So, I look towards the left, and I, all I see is something, I'm going to say black brown. Okay, good. I felt the body walking. Yeah, listen. Mama, I don't know you. Don't know who the hell you is. Never met you before in my life. But if you don't take nothing from this reading, right now you take what my spirit has to say to you. Be very mindful. There's destruction around you. Something is destructive or destructing around you. And they keep saying, stay away from that car. What color is your car? If you tell me it's light blue, I'm going to hang this phone up and cry. It's black. It's black. Oh, whew. Well, I was driving a late. I was driving a light blue Buick Short Dog. Uh huh. I don't know if you're from the south, but no. you know when we say Short Dog, you know what that means. Oh, you know, I know. I'm from the eighty. I, you know, I know what Short Dog is. Okay, uh -huh. I was driving a Buick Short Dog. Uh huh. It's, I have a, I have a black on black Infinity. Okay, 1984 Buick Short Dog, baby. That thing, no, that's what I was driving. But, yeah, I'm going to say, I need for you to be very careful cranking that car up, okay? Driving, destruction, you're going to have to be real mindful because a, a bird is flying into your window killing itself. I'm having dreams and spirit telling me you need to warn your, your next client of car accidents. Hmm. Huh. And destruction is all around, and I'm flying around like the fucking Neo from the fucking Matrix, trying to get, trying to beat the destruction. And I know it can't hurt me. Yeah, Whew. yeah that, that was uh, I mean, that was really. But what's left now is just like a probably a half inch piece of like something that could have been like a window on the window. Well, his ass. <laughs> well, he ain't got nothing to worry about no more. <laughs> I mean, it's if I needed, you know, attention from spirit, like, I, 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 I get it, right? But mm -hmm. this was, this was my special life, right? Okay, you got my undesign. I guess they said, well, we finna get to the bottom of this. <sighs> oh, shit, there go that yarn. That's my signature yarn. When I do that yarn, that means spirit tapping in. <laughs> All right. Well, and now it's a black bird flying around. This is amazing. Girl, we can, we gonna have to fix this shit because the spirit sent you to me, and this is the craziness. Lord, how mercy! All right, so, so now uh, the reading you got. Well, who am I? Risha got me at the moment reading. Yeah. All right, so I'm a direct energy reader, so I do not need to know your birthday or your zodiac sign. Ooh, yeah, spirit draining me. I ask that you be open with the spirit. Ask questions. I'm gonna deal ten. I'm gonna deal thirteen cards. Whichever reach you pop out during that thirteen card, that's the one that's gonna be over your head space right now. I deal ten cards. Whichever uh, reach you pop out during those ten cards, that's the reach that's controlling your actions. I deal seven cards. Whichever reach you pop out, that's the reach that's controlling your destiny. Again, you got an opportunity to ask questions. This reading typically takes about twenty minutes long. Uh, I know I'm booked up and back to back, but we gotta get, we gotta make sure I, I gotta make sure I, you understand this, okay? Okay. So with that being said, say your first name so I can pray over the cards. Do I have permission to cut your cards?
right, let's get this on point. So first 13, one, two, three, Oh, go on. It got your head right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nobody's controlling your actions. One, Shango controlling your destiny. Now, there's nothing controlling your actions. I'm gonna ask a re I'm gonna ask an Arisha, Do they want to step in and control your your control your actions? Cause there's something quite wrong with this action house. Any Arisha out there that want to step in? Any spirit Arisha want to step in and, 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 and help her with her actions? Help her show her how to move, show her how to navigate. Anybody, anybody. Seven cards. One, two, a leg bar. There we go. I understand. I understand everything now. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start. So we're going to start with we're going to start with your head. This is the region that's controlling your head space right now. Oh my God, they whooping me. Oh, they working me. Uh, so as you know anything about Ogun, this is what well, this is the this is the reach that control why you think, what you think, how you're thinking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and right now you know Ogun, he's a war spirit, spirit, so he got military conquest, he got overcoming certain things. And I'm seeing between his legs, he got overcoming destruction of the world or destruction of what's going on around you. That very lines up to what was going on. But, uh, so you got Ogun. Ogun is basically just telling me, like, he he said he, he drove the beast far away from where you inhabit so you can do battle with it. Because if you would have fought this thing around your house, around your neighborhood, around your family, so that it, you know, it could have crushed everything and destroyed everything. So it brought you, oh, it, yeah. it took you away from it. Oh, do you know what he's saying to you? I, I know exactly, and you keep yawning. Uh huh. Just like that beast did. That beast used to yawn just like that. He used to yawn so much? Just like that. Yeah, I yawn. I yawn when spirit is trying to really feed me energy, and to what uh, mm -hmm. take my energy to read these cards. But this here is is crazy because I am like like feeling drained from you. I mean, my hands are ice cold right now. Uh huh. This would do that too. Right. Well, yeah. So that's over your head space. So why do you? If this person is gone, why do you feel you still need to beat him, fight him? No, yeah. I know. Yeah, I know you. Like him anymore, but it, that I, yawning just, no. it just reminded me of that. Well, there's still there's still some re residual residue there. Could be, yeah. Uh, I, I could see that. So let's just say you're you, in your headspace. You're on guard. Yeah. We'll put it like that. Open up. Yes, Open very, up. very much so. I mean, to the point where you're like, yeah, flexing. So what's the yeah. what's the metal what's the metal around your arm or around your your metal around your arm bracelet wrist or something? I have a silver chain with an arm. Okay, so he says don't let that go. Don't you fucking get rid of it. I won't. I won't. Cause I can see it just as plain as day. That's the reason why you have been so protected. I don't know who you got that on from and that silver metal thing. My dad. Your dad, dad. Don't yeah. don't you fucking take it off ever. Yeah. Would you like to ask him a question? Yeah, so for the past couple of weeks, um, there's been a, a flying insect that comes to my iPad at night. Just one. Um, and then just last night two came and I, I swear I think it's trying to tell me something. What what is it trying to tell me? And and it never shows up in any part of the house. There's is no it, or anything like is that. it digital? Is it digital insect or is it a real one? First, I got it. It's, it's, it's a very real. It's, it's a very real insect. Okay. It, it always, right before I go to sleep. Right before I go to sleep. 
Wait for the All right, because I'm going to say, now nah, you ain't finna ask your spirit about no no digital insect crawling across oh, your no, thing. No, it's, no. It's, it's real. It's real. And then two shows the night before I had this conversation with you, because I had never seen that. Oh, good. What's going on with this insect? Two of the night before I had this conversation with you, because I had never seen that. Oh, good. What's going on with this insect? Two of the night before I had this conversation with you, because I had never seen that. Oh, good. What's going on with this insect? Two of the night before I had this conversation with you, because I had never seen that. Oh, good. What's going on with this insect? Two of the night before I had this conversation with you, because I had never seen that. Oh, good. What's going on with this insect? Go on, talk. He says, What? Drink more water. Mother, drink more water. Queen, drink more water. Queen energy. Okay, got it, got it, got it. They're trying to stop queen energy. What, why is the insects coming? Very persistent. Be very persistent. Dear. Growth. Dear. Why are they coming? Mother, wife, sister, daughter. I don't make no mistakes and spirit don't either. Sweetie, somebody is trying to stop you from achieving a goal. So let me tell you, these insects that's floating their ass around you, these particular things right here, these are nothing but the devil. They are enemies, however you want to call it. These is people watching you, scrying on you, trying to get in your business. This is, uh. this is, these are people doing remote viewing. So you got battle to do with witches. Yeah, see, I'm a that. Yeah, I'm a that. And for them to use it, listen. For them to use a flying insect to do this shit right here, this is heavy. Because I done seen them use birds, and that's probably what that bird was doing, trying to get a, trying to get a better, get a bird's eye view. You follow me? Yeah. Yeah. And that thing, and you... Because it's, 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 it's the thing, though. This little insect is so little, like you wouldn't even... Like, if I'm not just aware, if I wasn't woke, mm -hmm. I wouldn't even see it. It's so small. But I... I I see it the moment it comes. I see it. Yeah, that's remote. Some, somebody remote viewing your ass. I I get it a lot. They it happened to me a lot. But for you, they remote viewing and they were trying to see everything for you. So that's what's going on in your headspace. So that's why Ogun say you got to stay on guard. Wow. Okay. So now we're gonna go over here to Elegbot. We're gonna go over here to your second uh, area. This is right here controls your action. This is why you do the things you do while you I mean physically move the way you move in this house you have Elect Bar <laughs> if you know anything about Elect Bar he is the heavenly keep in mind what I'm saying he is the heavenly gatekeeper not the earthly gatekeeper that's reserved for Shu he is the heavenly gatekeeper and he's saying now in your actions you're trying to become holier than thou or you're trying to basically open the gate to the third dimension he said you're really trying to open the gate to the damn 12th dimension stop trying to go so far so fast okay you can only go four you can't go five yet okay okay i'm just being honest with you so he said your actions all the meditating all the praying all the spiritual practices you're doing you're moving entirely yeah. too fast you need to maintain That's a right. steady level keep it at four okay. For as long as possible until it's time to do fifth dimension. Okay. Hold on. 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 Yeah, that's what he's saying. Uh, what else you want to say to it, Legba? Um, so, I know I'm traveling, like in my sleep, right? I know I am. Uh -huh. I'm going somewhere. Okay. Um, and I, I know I've been, I'm going to say I've been to Dallas. I've been doing some kind of work. I just don't have any constant reality of where it is. So I'd like to know where I've been traveling. Elaine, hey, where's she been going? She want to know where she been going. Where she been going? He says purification. You've been going to take a bath every night. You leave. You're going. You're going to this waterfall. You're going to the sacred waterfall, and you're taking a bath. For some reason, you just cannot scrub yourself clean enough. Where else she been going? Where has she been going? It says you've been going to learn too. So you're going to the great sages, the mages, and the yogis. You're trying to learn any and everything you can. And once you learn, you're trying to you're trying to scrub yourself clean to get rid of all the past, the dirt, and all that stuff. There. Where else you've been going? Wow, this is impressive. And then it says nurture yourself. So after you get done taking a bath and going to get educated and trained, this is your spirit man. After you get all that, you're coming back home and you're kind of how you say energizing yourself 
your breast is tingling. Yeah. Your breast is tingling at the moment, and they will your center of your chest and your breast. They're gonna be like antennas to you. Is something gonna be taking place with your breast as far as they're gonna be a lot tender? I don't know, but they keep saying this is mother energy. This is how your your energy is gonna flow out. I don't see a baby coming, but your your breast is gonna be sore as if you're nursing a baby. So there's a spirit that you're nursing. Now it's coming into play why this damn baby was in my dream talking to me. <laughs> you fought not see this is the shit that I'm talking about. Yeah. That waterfall thing makes so much difference. Um might mean so much of a uh reasoning, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um for the past couple of weeks too, I've been feeling like you don't think I'm crazy. No. Walking, I'm walking on water, but, I'm, but my feet are dry. But I can sit mm. something. I'm kind of getting wet, it's straight. But I feel like I'm walking on water. And it's not medical. It's not a medical issue. There's no diabetes. There's no neuropathy. There's none of that going on. It's only been happening. Ever since I made the appointment, the water thing. And I do at nighttime play um, thunderstorm and ocean waves, right? As I sleep. And, you, and, and the crazy thing, I was I was reviewing my spiritual, uh, my personal spiritual, uh, my practice, and I got stuck on uh, the water deities. And when I was doing my meditation this morning and jogging and exercising, I, a chill just ran up my spine, telling me how to heal somebody with water energy. They was telling me yeah. the philosophy behind it, and I was like, "Ooh, who is this person that that I gotta constantly heal in my shoulders and everything was?" And I just and as I'm jogging, I, I'm like, "Ah, intense stuff! Ah, bite my teeth!" And and I'm like, "Jeez, man, what's going on?" But yeah. Okay. So you purify. So you purify yourself so you can get closer to to your purpose. But he just say, "Slow down! You're moving too fast." All right, so now we're going to go over here to your... Go ahead, what you were going to say? Is that a specific thing I need to do to slow down? Is that a specific thing I need to do? Is there specific things you need to do in order to slow down? Uh, the specific thing you need to do in order to slow down, you need to just stop spending your money on various uh, spiritual gifts and items and trinkets and stuff, potions. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Well, then you, you're it. You're, you're, you're the person. You're it. <laughs> I said stop. I say stop spending your money. Yeah. So, so yeah. take your time. Don't go buying up shit. Don't go getting 300 readings. Don't go getting this no. amulet and that amulet. Take your time. If you want to know one thing they say, do stop blowing money. Not saying that you are. Okay. But if you, when people get to learn, they get into that, they get into that, uh, that rubato state, and then they just want to learn everything they need to learn about this, this, and this, and this, and they can go broke, they can go crazy, and everything. So that's what he said. You mentioned Shango. You mentioned Shango. What, what were you saying about Shango? It was earlier. Do you oh, remember? yes, Shango is in your destiny. So now we're gonna go down here to your destiny. Uh, going down here to your destiny, uh, this Arisha is over your destiny. The reason why I put your destiny at the bottom, or this, and it got the seven cards, because there's always seven steps, seven days, seven months in order to learn something to, to become something. You follow me? Yeah. And now, in your destiny house, you have Shango. Having Shango in your destiny house, this is saying that you're destined for greatness. Now, you being destined for greatness is no small feat. I want to know, and I and tell me a thing. So, I mentioned feet for a reason. Let me. How tall are you? Five five and three quarter. Okay, there we go. Now, what's your build? I want this all playing out. What's your build? Well, bigger. That's, I'm coming with it. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Now, this full figure, five five and one quarter, however you call it. You have okay. I say five six. Then you have the perfect body for a queen. No shit. 
He says, even down to your feet, the design of your feet, the soles of your feet, you have been walking on this crumbling ass rock for too long. If you don't get into your purpose, they're going to do something to you. Your ground, the ground that you're known for walking on is not your ground no more. You cannot inhabit that space anymore. So when I say the ground that you're used to walking on, I'm not saying the earth is crumbling. The, the, the system that you built, the system that you understood to build that, that made you this person here, you surpassed it. Time for you to get yeah. into that royalty energy. And I mean, it's time for you to act like it. You need to act like a bitch yeah. if you got to. You are yeah. that person. 100%. So your destiny is to be greatness. Uh, great, but what Shango is saying also, he has a message, a direct message for, for you. Now, he says, when it comes to territory, when it comes to territory, don't be so territorial. Stop it. Stop thinking you own this shit. This shit that you're trying to own, you don't need anymore. This is scraps. This is garbage. Give, give it to the dogs. Yeah. Get more. Get better. Get greater. Would you like to ask Shango a question? Um, so, the last question. Let's see. We talked about the travel. With, uh, so, I'm in a multi-generational household and I, I want to know does anybody else have the gift of singing or the gift of any psychic ability in the family spirit does anybody else if anybody else in the family has the gift of singing spirit does knowing. anybody in the single does anybody in the house have the gift of sight positive change uh no they don't but you you have the ability to unlock them, shaman. Does anybody have the ability of sight? What you mean she got the ability? The new baby that's coming into the new baby that's coming into the world. That's the one that's gonna have it direct. It's like you're the catalyst. Does anybody else in that house have the and it says retreat to nature? No. Nobody else in that house has it, but think about somebody that has a gene. To do it, like uh, I'm gonna take you back to the X Man. Spirit say you can understand that. All right, everybody has a gene hey, that can. Huh? That was funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So everybody, everybody has this mutate in their blood. It just takes one event to trigger the mutation for us to develop powers, uh, abilities, etc. You are the one in your family to touch their forehead and unlock their abilities yeah that's your job but the one but every baby born once you unlock the first fuckers energy and it's gonna be a male it's gonna be a male 18 to 17 hell i give him 22 he won't be older than that after you unlock his psychic ability the very next baby not coming from him not the very next baby born in that multi-generational family will have all of the gifts of every generation so that baby will need to be protected 100 percent damn mother that's why you got warrior mode mother mode you're in you're in protection mode so who, who knew you was going to be the queen mother i haven't seen one of them since i haven't seen one of them since uh you know mary gave birth to jesus this is um this is unbelievable and then they send me a dream a vision that freaked me the hell out for 15 minutes i'm having a seizure in my bed down there trying to understand what they showing me and here it is nothing again oh again here's the baby talking to me right they saying your breast is going to be sore like you're nursing a baby so you're pouring out life milk into oh my god i'm done this is the most this is the most connected freaking reading I done had in a long time. It's so perfect, right? It, it, it's timely. It was just divine timing. 
Damn, why they trying? Oh, now now I see why they trying to destroy you. Jeez. Yeah. Holy crap! Who are you? You know, I'm a little girl from the ATL. God <laughs> damn. I'm doing my thing for my family, trying to break generational curses, and you know. You sure? We you sure we don't know each other? I, I, you know, uh, I, I, I feel like we do. That sounds crazy. I know. I, I feel like we do. We cannot. I, 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 I cannot have this connection with somebody without having a blood connection with them like this. I got the. I had the same connection with my mom, you know, and I had the same connection with my grandma. And I had this same type of connection with just about all the females that was, you know, psychically linked to, 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 to me. Uh -huh. And my family didn't start possessing, getting their abilities and their powers until I accepted what I had to become. Uh, well, I, I, I feel like, I, I feel like we do. I, I saw you on YouTube a while ago. I don't know what it meant. I was in my lower suffering realm. Yeah. And I saw you on YouTube. Um, and then when I got to more spiritual awakening, you just kind of like, I was like, I remember, I remember the thing, I remember that. And then I was just like, whatever, that kid, I think it would always be there. Then I started listening again, I'm like, yeah, I remember that. But then I started getting real thirsty. Mm -hmm. So now it's a little so now, like, I'm, you know how you have surgery and then you be real hungry? Like, I've, I've, I've been going at it like that, like. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Spirit is saying, you know her, man. You know her. Maybe yeah. we're going we gonna to talk off panel. And I wouldn't be surprised if somewhere down that line we got an ancestor or we linked. And trust me, I'm not trying to say you. I'm Cousin Pete here. I'm being 100%. I no, I get it. I get it. I get it. I completely get it. Yeah, I don't. I get it. Don't nobody make me have a damn dream to the point where I'm in my seizure state. That's only my mama. And my grandma, and literally, it was a seizure. And my eye, and this is, and I've been having this for the past three weeks, but briefly. But I, but I can cognit, but I can, I can cognitive control it. So when I'm having these little seizure visions, I can control it because I understand. Damn, man, the phone cut off. There's some crazy shit, y'all. <laughs> Look out. Holy crap. <clears throat> All right, I guess that was spirit saying I'm giving too much information, I guess. And they say cut this thing off. Listen, we're going to talk we're going to talk off panel. I got your number and I'm going to I'm going to contact you. Uh, via email, text, or something on panel, and we're gonna talk a little bit later, okay? Okay, that sounds good. Um, I give you my um, this is my work phone, so I give you my other number on email, okay? Thank you oh, so much. All right, you have a good one. I appreciate you. You too, bye bye. All right, everybody, that one there blew my mind, and I'm gonna reach out to her because there's something with her that cellular. Oh wow, I can't say nothing but this shit is, this reading right here is crazy. 
All right, everybody. I'm going to premiere this. All right, everybody. I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust you in the universe because at the end of the day, you all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please say something in the comments of this video right here. I don't give a damn. You say whatever you feel. I want to hear it. And trust me, I will be watching this one. All right, everybody. Take care. God bless. Much love.